Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to create some simple transitions in Kaden Live. So first of all, let's start with the Flickr transitions. So to do that, we have two video clips already in the track number one or video track one. Let's go to the project bin, right click and add a color clip. Click OK. And now we want to change this color to another color, which is uh, red or dark red, something like that. So going to select the clip, go to the clip properties here. And in the color palette here, click and select this color if you want to. And um, depending on the type of color, when you apply the effect that we're going to use. So once we have that um, in the project bin, select that and place it on top of the two clip in the center of the two clip. Going to the effects panel, look for Luma key. So here's the Luma key. Click and apply to your color clip. Now you can see that uh, depending on the type of color that you use, for example, other color might not remove it, so you have to use the threshold to remove that. But with this color, it's uh, automatically removing it. So what we can do now, or what we can do now in the Luma key properties in the pre-threshold Luma level, we want to change this to somewhere around 165. So we want to have something like this. So once we are done with that, let's hold down control and middle mouse button to zoom in on it or you can use this slider here to go up all the way to 2021 20 over 21 make sure to have the playhead here or the marker right in the center of the two clip and now what we want to do is to split or cut this clip so hold down x and then cut so the reason why we move to 2021 you can see that um you can see this once we move the marker, the size of the uh, shape here matches each of the keyframes. So we can move in one frame here, another frame, another frame, and another frame. So we want to have three little small clips in between here. Let's do the same for the other side. And once we are done with that, go back again to the selector tool by pressing S at the other side of the clip here and do the same for this other side. And then we want to delete the small clips in between. So let's select this one, delete it, select this one, delete it, and move this little bit back in. So this is all for this um, Flickr transition. And once we add a little bit of sound effect, this is what we have. Okay, so our next transition is the save transition. So what we can do now is we already have the two clips here on the timeline. So we can move pipe frame back into the first clip selecting the clip moving one two three four and five and then zoom in and uh, we can cut this little part here so pressing down x and cut it and zoom more in to see clear the clip and then go back out again to the selector tool by pressing s and select this clip here go to the effects panel and look for vignette so the vignette here select that and uh, place it on the clip as you can see the save it created so in the smooth they just make this more a uh, sub edge here and the next thing is to bring this down all the way to zero so we have this black screen and then in the opacity we just want to bring this little bit up somewhere around 250 or you can go to 300 if you want to something like that now let's move to the end of this small cut clip here and then add another keyframe and then in the radius we want to bring this back out to 1000 to reveal the car here and i think that's all for this and now uh, here is the final result once we add a little bit of uh, sound effects to it this is what we get thank you for watching and hope to see you back again in another video